by the Orange. Well, they are dominating on the glass. They have owned the middle of the floor. And like I mentioned before, if this was the trenches, they're controlling the offensive line. It's Syracuse that's winning on the edges right now. And he's going to run forward off a flare screen out of the horn. See if she's got a little heat check going. Fondren turns the corner. Bria Day tries to run it down and is off of slaughter. Bria Day has given Syracuse quality minutes. She hasn't scored. She's got three rebounds. She's played 12 minutes, and she has been able to spell her sister, who had been in foul trouble in the first half. She might have to be a candidate for my all-screen team. She's been terrific screening off the ball and on the ball. Sykes. Offensive foul as she kicked it to the corner. So that play was too slow developing and no spacing. And so there's not much room here for... Sykes to get in the gap, but that's an offensive foul. Sykes will come out. Ten points for Brittany Sykes. Six of seven from the free throw line. The Romero needs to look down the line. Up ahead, Conde. Bounce pass, and the finish. Degbion has the basket. Ama Degbion in her first action this evening against the Orange. Butler wants another three. That one was off to the left immediately. So after making her first four tonight, She's got a very short memory, though, as any of her teammates will tell you. Yes, as most great shooters do. Butler's now 4 of 12 from long distance. 14 points in the first half for Butler yet to score in the second half. I mean, considering she hit three threes in the first three and a half minutes of the game. 94 three-pointers made. First in the conference, first in the nation. Fondren cut off. Looked like Butler might have been stepping on the sideline in front of her own bench. All of a sudden, the spacing has changed for, for Syracuse. Florida State has done a much better job of gapping, up, gapping it up. They've done a good job on the ball screening action of making a change in the way they defend it. Hyundai wants three. Butler went up and got it. Wants to run that break. Butler. Pete Peterson gave her a bad pass. I told you, Tom, shooters don't like to drop their hands below their waist. Throws her timing off. Peterson gets the word from Coach Hillsman. Came up short. Romero. That's a deflection from behind. A turnover in Syracuse. Doing a nice job of keeping the pace where they want it. They have a depth advantage. They have a relentless ability to keep the pressure on. Third personal against Brittany Brown. Bondren was the one that got that deflection on Romero that caused a turnover. Peterson's first free throw attempt of the night. She is one of the better free throw shooters in the conference, eighth best at 73%. Syracuse already has four players in double figures. They've had good balance tonight. Spike coming up empty. Fondren tried to save it. It's going to be off of Florida State, and the basketball will stay at this end of the court as Morrison checks in, but Fondra just whipped it around and was able to save it. It hit off of Bulgak. Good lesson there, though. Never give up on the play. And that's that's right. what Fondra did. Trying to keep it alive and earned another possession for the Orange. How about the seniors for 
Syracuse. They've been terrific tonight. Taylor Ford again. Ford finally misses from three-point range. He had made four of four prior to that release. Thomas trying to add to her robust stat line, and she will. Good job to get some early offense. Boy, Thomas is really going to shape up to the ball. She did a nice job that time by keeping contact at the rim. 17 points and 8 of 12 from the floor. Shaquilla Thomas. <laughs> Senior night. That is five triples for Taylor Ford. She scored eight points in the last five games coming into tonight. She's got five triples tonight. Five of six from long distance for Ford. Bogak trying to recover and does it this end for Florida State. Adu Bogak with 21 points. It bears repeating, Ford came into this game with only 13 made threes on the season. Has five on the night. Day on the catch. Yeah, I'm going to repeat my number, too. She's only scored eight points in the <laughs> last five games. It's a memorable senior night for Taylor Ford. She has seen action in every game this season for the Orange. Her average for the season, Deb, points per game, 3.1. Tonight, 15. Something about that added emotion of senior night. Last game in uniform on your home court. Romero to Slaughter. Gritting that pass. Slaughter to the free throw line. What a great pass. You invite the trap on the baseline. You reverse the basketball. And then you attack. Slaughter slides in her vision. Good hands. Good finish. When you reverse the basketball, you're always going to get a better shot, a better look, a better drive. Slaughter almost had the steal right in front of our broadcast position. We're on the sideline here at Jim Beheim Court inside the Carrier Dome, Tom Wormy, Debbie Antonelli. Our outstanding ACC women's basketball production crew with you. So glad that you have joined us for what has been, Deb, a very entertaining it game has. between Syracuse and Florida State. It has been fantastic. Both teams are playing the way they need to play to be successful. Florida State's getting twos. Syracuse is shooting the three. One possession here in the last possession for the third quarter. Fondry. Water pulled it down. And the Knowles get a shot away. Conde. That would have counted. But Conde misses.